Welcome to The Music Reel. I'm your host, Nicola Burton. I have Manny and Mark with me today from Pushworth, and our very special guest is Lindy Morrison. And Lindy is from Support Act. And as you know, that's a charity that helps artists, roadies and music workers who are facing incredible hardship due to illness, injury and crises, I guess, like this latest COVID crisis. They provide financial support. They provide advice. There's a wealth of practical resources on their website. Sometimes they even contribute to funeral costs as well. The Support Act Wellbeing Helpline is a free, confidential, 24-7 counselling service, and it's available to anyone working in the Australian music industry, anyone who needs to, needs to talk to someone about any aspect of mental health. And here we are, 2020, the first time in modern history, and our communities around the globe, we've lost our livelihoods. People with families and mortgages haven't been able to work since March, and it's now a time when a charity like Support Act will help to define how our industry recovers. So, Lindy, thank you so much for talking to us today. Welcome. Thank you. So I guess my first question is, how have you guys had to work to pivot to meet the extraordinary additional demands since the COVID hit? Uh, well, I, <clears throat> I was uh, part-time and there was another social worker in um, Melbourne who was part-time and we had uh, one financial officer and uh, the social workers did their own admin. We've had to employ another four social workers. We've had to employ four admin. We've had to employ um, a person who is in charge of all those processes and um, two more financial uh, officers. So the organisation has really extended um, I'm uh, looking after the social workers and, uh, and it really a lot of our information was in my head or, um, and the other social workers. We didn't have a lot of our processes written down oh uh, because we didn't have to. Uh, and now, now, now we've had to write everything down, really streamline the payment system. Um, you know, very, it's become very, very pro pro professional. The, the organisation's just become extremely professional, extremely qu quickly. So from what you've seen, Lindy, I mean, obviously we've all stopped and you guys have just gone crazy with all the work you've had to do, you know, which is quite a, an interesting paradox. But from what, I guess, the data that you've seen in the last few months, what does that really tell you about our industry and what steps we need to take to make some changes to better support ourselves for times like these, for these unexpected times? I don't know. I don't know what we can do to support ourselves in unexpected times because the very nature of the industry is that it's so uncertain. You know, they're, 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 you know you're, you're, you're either touring or, you, or you're not. If you're not touring, you're spending money recording and um, rehearsing. And um, uh, it's very, very difficult to make a good living in the, in the, in the music industry. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how we can protect ourselves going forward. It's the nature of the, the industry that it's uncertain, that it's, um, you know, seasonal, that um, it depends on, you know, what, what recordings you're putting out and when and what shows you're doing and... Uh, how many bums you can get on the seat? It's yeah. not like um, it's not like uh, the film industry, for instance, where it, it's subsidised greatly, and um, and you know a, a film's box office is 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 it's not going to uh, the box office records are not going to affect the um, payment of the actors, for instance. They're going to get paid, and um, uh, this way, you know, with the music industry, we get paid for who we bring into a venue. Uh, it, it, and we don't get subsidised by the, the government. There's not subsidies for um, making recordings. There's certainly art grants, but I, I, I can't really answer that question. I mean, people talk about um, encouraging people to contribute to super. There have been all sorts of schemes run past me in the last 40 years, but um, uh, really there's often not enough income to contribute to super. And this just as this is a question about how do people value what we do as an industry? I mean, I never thought about it before, but what a great analogy between the box office for a movie and the box office for a festival or a concert. Wow, I've got a lot to think about. Manny. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, thanks for your insights, Lindy. So there's a few years there and um, you've been in the music industry. So you've seen it from inception of, you know, the 
I guess what I call the you know the good old bad days, and it's still the bas- the last bastion of laissez faire where the market dictates. So, what I'm looking at now, the realization is, as you've highlighted, the 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 music industry has a mechanism for its say solvency. I think that what we may lack is a mechanism for our own solvency, a peak industry body which lobbies in the government that really is effective because at the moment what I'm noticing is there's so many factions going to our, you know, say federal government with all, like I suppose, different interests. So my question is can you see a future where we have a, like a solid lobby in the government? Well, it's an interesting question because Music Australia is supposed to represent all the organisations, but I think its emphasis has shifted somewhat. Uh, But when uh, Dick Lex ran um, what was then called, I can't remember what it was called before it was called Music Australia. Do any of you three know what that was? I'm going to Google it while you're talking. (laughs) Okay. Um, Well... You know, that, that organisation represented every single corner of the Australian music industry and we would meet in a huge conference every year. There were always subgroups, committees. It, uh, it was constant lobbying government for... Um, it's called the Music Trust now, by the way, but what, what it used to be called... It, oh, God. Um, anyway. Um, and, and so there, there was that. And then prior, prior... And he funded that for many years until he got some government funding... He also had um, the, the big push. The big push was education, getting it, uh, music education into schools. Uh, and they ran many programs. They, they ran the Freedmen's um, Jazz um, Scholarships. They, you know, pri- the Freedman Jazz Prize, all sorts of stuff. It was really fantastic. Then it morphed into Music Australia, but Music Australia has probably, is probably not as effective now as, as the Dick Letts organisation was. Um, and before that, we had um, Oz Music. That's right. Um, that was, that's going way back, and that, that had that role. But what's happened, I think, now is that ARIA, PPCA, APRA, AMCOS have filled that role. Yeah. Um, they're doing an incredible amount of lobbying all the time. I mean, I, frankly, I don't know if there's any room for another organisation, Manny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We've I got Amen. We've got all the state state lobby groups. You know, like there, there's so many organisations, and I'm very aware of all of them. You know, in fact, I've probably sat on most of them at some stage in my career. Mm. Um, so um, I'm not sure there's room for another one, Manny. Fair enough. Yeah. Excuse me for being slightly cynical. No, no, no it's, it's, it's good. good. It's good to hear. Question. Yeah, Mark. I mean, the other thing you've got. Remember, don't forget you've got the. Um, sorry, Mark. You've got the. No, you um, you've got the managers. The AAM. They're they're becoming quite effective. You've got air. You know, yeah. but you you know. Really, what what you want is? Did you find Richard Letts the name to his organisation? No, it, it doesn't say this. So we'll the have to. Music Council it. of Australia. The Music Council of Australia. That's what it was. There called. you go. All right. Yeah. And that morphed into Music Australia. Um, but the Music Council of Australia was incredibly effective as a lobby group. It was constantly lobbying the government over certain issues. Great. Interesting. Okay, Mark. Go on, Mark. Um, Lindy, what opportunities do you see coming out of lockdown for our industry? Uh, well, I suppose the, the best thing that's come out of it is the amount of online performances that everyone's <laughs> doing. And uh, I think that's really been incredibly worthwhile and I think everyone also has really been pushed into streaming. Those who haven't uh, been streaming are all streaming. I think the streaming um, uh, results are going to be really good for this period Um, and you know streaming is our main, besides syncs which is where you get a song and recording synced into a moving image. Besides that streaming is really so, so far ahead of everything now in terms of our income and um, uh, so, you know, th- this, is, this can only be really good. Uh, but I think people realise that they can probably do a lot more online uh, and, to, and can be effective that way. And, and I think that will stay with the industry. I hope we don't get another COVID-19 uh, song. 
I would hope that we don't. Oh, <laughs> yes. We're over it. We are totally over it. Yep. I've switched yep. off I'm now. I'm right with you. Yeah. No, Lindy, mm -hmm. it's been so good to talk to you. What I love is to have that cynical voice because that those voices help us to really question whatever is sort of being proposed. So I really thank you for your comments today. And I think finally, what can we do to support Support Act more? What can ordinary everyday musicians or anyone do to keep you guys going? Oh, well, I think the, the best thing that everyone could do now is to let everybody know that we exist and they can apply for a grant to get through COVID. So that's yeah. what I would suggest. Perfect. Just get the word out to everybody that, you know, if you're a, a, a musician, crew, or have worked in a music organisation and you've been affected by COVID, we have grants to give to you. How good is that? I'll make sure all of the contact uh, details are in the post. Lindy, it has been a real pleasure to meet you and to speak to you and hear your ideas about this. We really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you so well, much. Well, I appreciate that you asked me, so I really, I'm really glad. Great. Thank Thanks, you. everyone. Thank you so much Thank you. again, Lindy. Bye.